Ben Benesh, one stock you like over at Pictay Asset Management is SoftBank. Mm -hmm. It's having a great year. It's up around 23% so far this year. They bought Arm Holdings back in July, and this was a change for them because they were selling assets before that. So is this the opening move in a, a long-term game for them? It's a really meaningful acquisition. It was about $32 billion, so much bigger than anything that's been done over the past couple of years. And what it really does is it opens SoftBank up to the Internet of Things, the fact that everything in the future, at least according to the founder and CEO, Masayoshi Son, is going to be connected to the Internet. Now, the ARM is a, br it's a brilliant business. It's got 95% market share in mobile chipset design. It has 95% gross profit margins. But the price does seem a little bit full. To understand and to really believe in this vision, you have to take somewhat of a longer-term view. And you're also a fan of Royal Dutch Shell. We've seen natural gas prices tick up, which is good for Royal Dutch because I think they're the largest uh, supplier now with that BG acquisition. So that should bode well for them. Can that continue? Whether the natural gas price goes up or not, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter. Of course it does matter. But this BG deal was entirely transformational for the business. What it did is it took a relatively stable core asset, but it also had declining production to now have at least visibility for production growth through to 2020 and beyond. So now what you have is a business which is more stable, which has growth in the future, and also where we feel that the dividend, which is around 7%, is entirely sustainable. All right, and speaking of dividends, you're also a fan of GlaxoSmithKline. I think they pay more than a 5% dividend. Stock's up probably around 5% so far this year. But are they going to get hurt over this big debate we're having over drug pricing here in the U.S.? The interesting thing about Glaxo is through a series of transformational deals with Novartis, they've become more of a consumer business. Now their main businesses are consumer, vaccines, and a HIV franchise called Vive. So whereas historically it was really dependent on individual drugs and a pipeline, now we view it as a far more diversified business that can grow regardless of the regulatory environment. All right, and then finally, you like ASML. Now this is a chip making supplier and they're very tight with samsung yeah. samsung holds a stake in asml samsung's been having their own problems lately because their phones have been uh basically going on fire due to the batteries <laughs> will this affect asml so asml have around 80 percent market share so samsung are clearly a very important client but they really have exposure to the whole value chain on top of that we believe that by 2019 or 2020, there's a new technology in play called EUV, which actually will consolidate ASML's already dominant market position and get them closer to 100% of the market. All right. Well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about those stocks. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.